When I tell my kids I lived through World War III, I'm not going to be talking about world conflicts. I'm going to be talking about Black Friday deals. Because at a certain point in time, some of these Black Friday deals were like the prophecy. Okay, you waited all year to hit that 50% off, that 65% off, sometimes even 80% if you were lucky on a, on a refurbished product that nobody wants to touch because it looks like it's been ran through a fucking baler. Regardless, these deals were sought after. This year might have been the worst Black Friday I have ever seen in my entire life. So I'm gonna guide you guys into some of the good deals and some of the horrible deals, what websites to go to and what websites to avoid. Because I'm gonna be honest, I searched for three hours three whole hours between three different websites that I think are the most popular ones for Black Friday, in my opinion, okay? It's gonna be Amazon, Target, and Walmart. I'm excluding Best Buy because Best Buy is obviously, a, you're gonna find some pretty good deals there. So maybe go there. Um, regardless, I haven't seen any real good ones. Most of these deals suck. And I went through so many different pages of Amazon, Target, Walmart, and looked at thousands of items. I swear to God, I am I feel like a schizophrenic. I'm gonna turn my chair around right now, look at my bed, and I'm gonna see a fucking Apple Watch. Schizophrenia aside, we're gonna start with Amazon because I feel like they are the holy grail of being an online shopper for literally everybody in the entire world and also being the Black Friday powerhouse. So fun fact about making this part for Amazon. Amazon pissed me off so bad that I actually stopped looking. I was seeing deals at like 10%. What am I going to do with 10%? That's like $2. Now, I only actually have a couple of uh, good deals. Actually, I only have really one that I found that was actually like a good deal. The rest were either beat by other companies like Target or Walmart, which I'll get to, or were just straight up ass. Take, for example, this MetaQuest 2. It's $50 off. What am I going to do with that $50? I'm going to buy like one game. I'm going to end up buying like one fucking McChicken. Maybe I'll finally be able to afford one pair of sock. But don't worry guys, the deals get even worse. Take for example, Mario Odyssey. Now you might be wondering why is this a bad deal? Well, it's because Mario Odyssey has been out for... Dude, since like the dawn of time, this game is old. Why is it still $40? Dude, drop the fucking price. Now I know Nintendo is known for being stingy with their sales because they don't... They don't like losing money, and they believe that you guys are paying for quality. Well, this game is ancient, okay? You guys can at least lower the price by like another five, ten dollars And as we go to other companies like Target or Walmart, you guys are going to see that Nintendo is really only stingy on Amazon for some reason. Uh, when it comes to Walmart or Target, they're pretty... They're pretty good, but that's... That, wait, wait for it, okay? We'll, we'll get there. I want you to take a look at this picture right here. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple seconds, you know, scan through here. Tell me what you want from this. These are the best deals. These are like pretty good percentages off. Who wants this shit? I'm looking at this, I don't want a single thing on here. So at this point, I've been looking at a bunch of Amazon deals. I'm like 30, 45 minutes into looking on Amazon, and I've only found really only two notable deals that I can even put in this video, and they were both really fucking bad. I did find one really amazing deal for AMD processors. This video was primarily supposed to be about video games and gaming consoles, but all of these deals are too good to pass up. If you need a new processor, definitely look into them. They got really good prices on all of them. This one's 55% off, 26, 23, 52. Like they're, they're, they're pretty, they're, they're, it's a mixed bag. Okay, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Definitely look into it if you guys need a new one. Um, I tried to stray away from laptops and monitors and all that i'm focusing on gaming consoles for now um pc parts are a whole different breed and i'm not going down that route but i did find this one so if you guys need a new processor i guess fucking go go look at that but uh i got pissed off and switched to a different store Oh man, with Target do we have a lot to talk about. So this was the definition of a mixed bag. Some deals were really, really good for Nintendo and whatever else I had in here, I think Xbox, but some of the deals were not great. So we're gonna go one by one. There's a lot to unpack here, so let's just start. Now actually all of these deals for the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series X, Diablo 4 bundle, and the, the stupid MetaQuest 2. Um, all of these are good deals. The MetaQuest 2 one, I, I probably, me personally, I wouldn't get. It's only 50 extra dollars. That's fucking 
once again, one pair of sock, but these other ones are pretty good. This other deal for Nintendo screen protectors is also pretty good. It's $13, usually they're $25. Definitely get a screen protector, you don't want grimy children hands all over your shit. Star Wars Jedi Survivor for $30 and Resident Evil 4 for $40 isn't bad, uh, both for the Series X and it's the same prices for the PS5. Nintendo decided to put a lot of their games on sale at Target. Um, I'm not sure why they chose Target specifically, I'm assuming it's some sort of exclusivity deal. Regardless, you're going to see some of these prices are going to be better at Walmart, but for now, if you're exclusively planning to shop at Target for some reason. Super Mario Odyssey is for $40, Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, which is also a very good game, um, is $20, Luigi's Mansion is $40, and Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe Edition is also $30. Alongside those other Nintendo games, they also have Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for $30, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for $40. If you haven't picked that up, go get it. If none of these games are really your thing, then I have the perfect game for you. It's going to be Pickleball Smash for the Xbox for $30. Huh, buddy? You want, huh? You want, you want Pickleball Smash? Yeah, you do. I know you do. Go get it. Go buy it. It's on target. Go ahead. Before the sale ends, go. Go do it. Go do it now. So that's all I found for Target. A lot of the deals were pretty good. Definitely go take a look for yourself because I definitely missed a couple. I really only included games that I thought were really worth getting or games that I don't see on sale too often, especially Zelda. That one doesn't go on sale too often, so go get that one. But that's it for Target. Uh, let's, let's move on to Walmart. Walmart is known for having lower prices like naturally throughout the entire year, but whole... Lee, shit, did they show up for Black Friday. This was by far some of the best deals I have seen throughout the thousand items that I fucking looked at in a three hour span. I mean, just looking at these AirPod Pros alone, this deal single-handedly beats any other fucking deal I saw on the other two websites. $170 down from $250. You save $80. That's that's a good fucking deal. Okay, now wait, because I know some of you don't like AirPods. Some of you guys prefer headphones. So look at these Beats Studio 3s for $100 down from $170. You save $70 on amazing headphones. Walmart is already looking to be amazing, and we're only on the home page. This, these were on the home page, including this one. Gaming chairs can be expensive as fuck, but this one's only $100. Now the deal itself isn't good. Okay, it's it's really only $40, which to some is actually a pretty good deal for a gaming chair. But $100 for a relatively good gaming chair? I personally prefer office chairs, but if y'all want a gaming chair, I would definitely recommend this one. Especially if you guys like budgeting your gaming setup, this chair is perfect. Once again, I prefer office chairs, especially if you're going to be sitting for a long time. But as a gaming chair, this is good. Now, before I show these next items from Walmart, um, these need some background information. Nintendo for the holiday seasons tends to give away this one bundle. Um, it's the Mario K Mario. Wow. I can't speak the Mario Kart eight bundle with the Nintendo switch and three months of Nintendo Xbox PSN. Typically this deal is very sought after. Um, if you don't have a Nintendo switch, I always recommend waiting until they release this bundle and you guessed it. They did it again. So get this bundle if you don't have a Nintendo Switch. This bundle is very overpowered. You save a lot of money. Um, it's a really good deal. I mean, you get a Nintendo Switch with a game and three months of Nintendo PSN Xbox Live. So it's a good deal. But wait, before you buy that one, there's another one that they decided to release. I think this is the first holiday season that they've done this, but there is now an OLED version of this bundle but this one comes at a steep price of 350 dollars but you get the nintendo switch oled you get super smash brothers ultimate and the three months of nintendo xbox live psn plus if this isn't a good deal i don't know what is walmart might be coming in clutch for the holiday season now do you guys remember earlier in the video when i brought up those two games that might have had a better price somewhere else. Well, say hello to Walmart prices because Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, which I mentioned earlier, is $14 here. Why is it cheaper here? I don't know. Target also price matches. So if you go into Target and you tell them, hey, I found this on Walmart, it's the same exact game, price match it, pussy, they'll do it. I would know. I work there. 
that is a serious claim. I do work there. I, I, I had to do it. I have to do it. So go into Target, tell them you, this is the game and they'll give it to you. If you don't feel like doing that, go to Walmart and get the game. But wait, motherfucker, before you get your keys and get in the car and go to Walmart, there's also Mario Odyssey for $30. Why is it cheaper? This is the good price. This is what the price should be for the game. It's ancient, dude. See, Walmart did it fucking correctly, and Walmart's gonna get more customers for Black Friday, and that's that's the end of that. I don't know. There's always a few things that history can teach us, and unfortunately, this is the beginning of the end. Black Friday is not the same, and it never will be. Um, what the fuck are these sales? They're not even worth getting. Uh, with sales tax and fucking state tax and sh shipping tax and tax tax. By the time you go to fucking check out, the price is just going to be higher than it was normally. If I buy it on a random Wednesday compared to Black Friday, it makes no difference because the percentage is so low on sales that it doesn't fucking matter. If none of these games or consoles that I mentioned or fucking AMD processors, once again, that was a little side thing. If none of these really appeal to you, there is always... DreamWorks All-Star Kart Racing PlayStation 5 for $30, including Shrek. Ah, uh, buddy, you want some Shrek? Yeah, you do. Go to the Target and pick yourself up a copy. That's enough of that. Black Friday fucking sucked this year. I don't think anybody bought anything good. Don't even leave it in the comments because I know you guys didn't get anything. I didn't get anything. The sales fucking sucked.